Hello, welcome to Rachel Makes. I'm Rachel and today we're going to make homemade vegetable bakes. Now my daughter particularly likes vegetable bakes from a well-known supermarket and I think they're quite expensive for what they are so I thought I'd have a go at making them myself and I did and actually they worked out really well. She even liked them as much as the bought ones and that's as best as we can get. Okay, so shall I show you what we need? We need some mashed potatoes and that's actually just two potatoes mashed up, cooked and mashed. A handful, a tiny handful actually, of um, frozen peas which have defrosted. A cooked carrot which I've diced up. And about a third of a leek which is cooked, just to have something oniony in there. You could use onion if you wanted, sweet corn would be nice in this too. Even cooked cabbage, basically anything you like. Um, we need some breadcrumbs, and this is breadcrumbs made from two mini pitters which I had in the freezer, which I just toasted and grated up, as you can see, not very well. But anyway, they will be fine. And an egg, okay. We also need salt and pepper and a greased baking tray to cook them up. Okay, so this is really, really simple. All we're going to do is mix the vegetables together. So you can use anything you like for this recipe. It's actually a really good way of getting children to consume more vegetables than they think they are. Because anything coated in breadcrumbs tastes nicer. And children are always less suspicious of it as well. Okay. I think what I like about this is the kind of slightly synthetic look of it. How strange that is that I like it, but I do. I like the fact that the carrots are kind of just makes it look like something that's been manufactured, which is strangely satisfying. Okay, so that's mixed together. We need to add salt and pepper to that, obviously to your taste. If you've got young children, you might not want to put any salt in it at all. And that's the other issue as well, is that if we were eating bought vegetable bakes, they would be absolutely packed with salt. And probably lots of other very strange, suspicious additives. So at least with these, you know what's going into them. Okay, so that bit's done now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get small handfuls of this mixture, flatten them out, put them in some egg, and then breadcrumbs. And then onto a plate. So we're basically going to do that with all of the mixture. Okay, so now these need to go in the fridge, ideally for about half an hour or even more. Okay, so the oven's preheated to 200 degrees. These have chilled now for at least 20 minutes in the fridge so they've firmed up. Um, the baking tray is oiled um, and I've also preheated the baking tray as well so I popped that in the oven just for a few minutes before I put these on there. Now these need to go into the oven for about 20 minutes. So these have had 20 minutes cooking and they're lovely and crisp and they're cooked through. Um, so those would be really nice served with either with some baked beans or some fried eggs or something like that. Okay, so that was my recipe for vegetable bakes. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments. Nice ones, please. Bye-bye.